Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today I'm going to be sharing a few more hadiths from the book Riyazu Salihin, the book of miscellany. So let's get started. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hadith number 84 is There were two brothers in the days of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. One of them used to attend the Prophet's circle to acquire knowledge and the other used to earn their living. Once the latter, meaning the one who uh, earned the living, uh, complained to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam against the former for not earning his living. He sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied, Perhaps you are being provided because of him, that because of because he comes and gains knowledge, so you are being provided risk because of his efforts. So um, this hadith is from Tirimzi. Moving on to the next hadith, hadith number 85, Sufyan bin Abdullah reported, I said to Messenger of Allah, tell me something of Islam which I will not ask anyone else about it. He sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, Say I believe in Allah and then be steadfast. This hadith is from Muslim. Hadith number 86 is, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, Follow the right path of faith, faith strictly and be steadfast and keep in mind that none of you can achieve salvation through his good actions. Someone asked, not even you, O Messenger of Allah? He wasallam, said, not even me unless Allah grants me his mercy and grace. This hadith is from Muslim. Next hadith is hadith number 87. Prophet Muhammad wasallam, said, be prompt in doing good deeds before you can you are overtaken by turbulence, which would be like a part of dark night. A man would be a believer in the morning and turn to disbelief in the evening. Astaghfirullah. Or he would be a believer in the evening and turn to disbeliever in the morning and would sell his faith for worldly goods. May Allah save us all from this. This hadith is from Muslim. And then the last hadith for today is hadith numbers 96. Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, Allah says, when a slave of mine draws near to me a span, I draw near to him a cubit. And if he draws near to me a cubit, I draw near to him a fathom. And if he comes to me walking, I go to him running. This is a very famous hadith and it's uh, hadith from Bukhari. That's all for today. Inshallah, I'll continue in, in my next video. Till then, Fiyamanallah.